Hello and welcome to the Eagle Insights Podcast. I'm your host, Henry Conti, the Communications Coordinator for the Bellbrook Sugar Creek School District. On this episode, you'll smile and you'll laugh, I promise you. We have two of the young ladies who run the Nest Instagram account, Emmy Vollmer and Lexi Holding. But they are on here for another reason too. I became acquainted with them through our work together in putting on the 5K to play and another fundraiser for Eagle Land 2. We did that with Alyssa Pernish. They'll make a few references you'll need to understand, one of which is Conti lore, which is basically when I'd give them uh, some information about my past, which I share some here, which they, for some reason, always found interesting. But I'm sure they were laughing with me and not at me. <sighs> anyway... This one was great, and if your last name is Franz or Craig especially, you'll want to stick around until the very end. That's it. Let's get started. Cue the eagle. Lexi and Emmy, thank you for joining me on the podcast in our illustrious podcast studio. Um, first of all, for the people who don't know you, tell, um, tell the audience a little bit about yourselves, your seniors at Bellbrook High School. Lexi, what are you into? Um, yeah, my name's Lexi. I'm a senior at Bellbrook. I play lacrosse, and I'm currently involved in, like, a lot of different clubs. Um, I do art club, Eagle Excellence, Key Club, NHS Supportive Peers, Young Life. Yeah, I just do a lot of things, just get involved in the community. I'm Emmy. I'm also a senior at Bellbrook High School. I play soccer, and I also have my own chocolate-covered strawberry business that I little run. I'm also in Supportive Peers. One of the reasons, you know, you're here today, besides... We'll get to our, the three of our connection is because you guys are two of the people running the Nest oh, yeah. Instagram account. <laughs> so tell me, tell the people a little bit about the Nest Instagram account and why you guys are running it this year. Um, so yeah, getting involved in this like project, we got asked by Alyssa, which Alyssa Pernuch, which was one of our like, I guess, not coworkers, but like she helped, helped out, out with this the project. And stuff. Yeah. Um, and she like she had access to it so she kind of passed it down to me and emmy and emmy's really creative when it comes to like making posts and just like little things to catch people's attention on social media so she's more of like the, the content yeah. creator like the game day post for like football games and soccer games and whatnot. yeah and then i fabricate like I i'm more of like the writer so when it comes to like like captioning things keeping things up to date and stuff all like the that. comments that's really like oh, you're yeah. good at like <laughs> just the stuff like that yeah. student yeah interaction yeah, I was going to say that that has really ramped up this year, the student interaction the videos yeah. you guys are doing. Tell me a little bit about that. Why are you going that way with it? So definitely it's like our senior year, so we definitely were like we wanted to have fun with it. Um, everybody knows what TikTok is. Everybody has TikTok. So there's obviously trends that come in and out um, of social medias. And as they're in, we definitely just try to incorporate them into our game day posts because – you see something on TikTok, like you see it on Instagram, it's gonna catch your attention immediately. So even like we had one where it was like, "Dab if you think we're gonna win," like you can yeah, go up just to anyone and be like, I "Oh, dab." Really like yeah. yeah, just keeping it interesting. Was, with it. was running the nest something you were looking for? I mean, you know, it's been gaining in popularity over the last couple of years, and I think it's human nature to kind of look at something and go, "I think I do that." One. <laughs> um, I think I tried this. Yes, I would say that. For, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure for Everybody us. wants to do it. <laughs> like, it's definitely not a chore. Like, I enjoy it very much, and yeah. I love, like, the group of girls that we work with. But I definitely, if you told me in sixth grade, they're like, you're going to be running the Instagram account, I'd probably be like, no, I'm not. But now that I'm here, like, I'm just here to have fun. Shout out who else is doing it with you. Um, Ava Prater, Jordan France, and Avery Young. And then me and Emmy, like, we're in the group chat, so – we're always making, like, Spirit Week stuff like that. There's a couple more people I think I see doing some of the videos. Yes? No? Yeah, so during yearbook is fifth period, and on Fridays they're so great. Shout out fifth period yearbook, Miss Giles. They're so good about getting, like, <laughs> the fabulous fit photos for me. Um, Sophie Davis and Coraline McBride helped me with those interviews because um, fifth period is actually my supportive peer period, so I'm only there for, like, 20 minutes. Gotcha. But the rest of that period they, like, really take up take over for me so it's very helpful so what do you see happening in the future for the nest like I, I love the kind of um succession planning of like you're, you're probably looking at juniors who you might want to pass this on to now the way it got passed on to you <laughs> maybe you are maybe you are not. <laughs> um, i would say for me really like the game day posts 
I make them on Canva, and that's like pretty easy to like pass down those templates t to kind of like help them out maybe just because it's kind of been like not a challenge, but it's just been more work to have to like make all of the posts, like make all of like the like, like find each logo for each school and like find each picture. So like, I think t to pass down like those templates and share them with them just makes the whole process faster. I think it might. Yeah, we're, fun and we're definitely working, like, from scratch. Like, I love Alyssa, and, like, think, I'm, like, am really grateful for this opportunity, but, like, she wasn't even the one that made the canvas. I'm not really sure who did last year, but we weren't really given anything. Like, even just, like, links to the logos. We really have just, like, yeah. built this from scratch, which is just gotcha. really cool. I guess, what do you see coming up this year? Some stuff you've liked that you've seen that you want to try? I think just more of, like, the TikTok stuff and, like, the interviews. Mm -hmm. Like, those are always kind of fun because, like, it's the whole school involved and, like, whoever, like, you find in the hallway and and whatnot it's just fun you know yeah fun. do you get good student interaction do you have a lot of people like right away saying yes and wanting to do it or people kind of being like i'm not doing that yeah um for me it was like first week i like first week of school i was like i'm gonna like take advantage of having the nest like i want to have fun with it and then like I came up with the idea of like FNL fabulous fits kind of just messing around um and then we did that week one purple and gold which was like really successful everyone thought it was so funny and then like week two rolled around and this girl came up to me she was a sophomore I'm like blanking of her name but um she was like oh like can you post me on FNL fabulous fits and it was like that was just so heartwarming to know that yeah, like people awesome. care yeah. and like stuff like that so that was really reassuring but it is nice to know that people I mean, even if people do think it's a little goofy, like, it's our senior year and we're having fun with it, but yeah. it's nice to know that people, like, want to be involved. I just get yelled at from the stands, hey, camera guys. Mr. Conti! Mr. Conti over here! No, you guys know me as Mr. Conti. Most people just know me as, hey, camera guy. <laughs> sir, um, sir! But, uh, so you have started down this road of, like, kind of running a social media account mm -hmm. now. Um, I mean, several because you have your business, mm. but what, um, is, is this what you see in your future plans? You um, got college coming up? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Like me for sure. I'll probably go into like marketing or some kind of like business section, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sports management has also like kind of been on my mind recently, but. Yeah. Um, I don't, I like love it so much. I definitely well, like, want to – I'll incorporate this on every resume, trust me. <laughs> like, I'm taking advantage of the opportunity. But um, I think I have, like, so much in store for myself. Like, I'm so excited to see where, like, life takes me. But this will definitely be something that gotcha. – a skill that I have and that I'd love to pursue in the future. Uh, I'll, I'll add a little bit of Conti lore here for you. <laughs> um, I will tell you that when I left high school, I was certain I was going back home to run a pizza shop at some point. So oh. your mind is not the Italian need, in you. That's right. Your mind oh does gosh. not need to be made up at this moment. No, I for sure. Think, so. All right, so let's get into one of the other reasons. Obviously, Alyssa's not with us, but Alyssa Furnish was a huge part of the project we're about to talk about. But um, the two of you, along with Alyssa, heard the word no. <laughs> <laughs> and I think took it as a challenge um, when – fundraising for Eagle Land 2 when you guys came up with the idea of uh, a 5k and not one of us had any idea on how to organize a 5k um, and, and we had a false start we chose a bad date and kind of mm -hmm. but decided to, to go back at it but talk about um, just the the Eagle Land 5k to play um, and what that project has meant to you too. Yeah, I think it kind of like all started with Mr. Craig and Mrs. Franz, um, their class in marketing. I think we didn't really like have a clue of what like marketing was or like the business side of like school, I guess. So I think that class really helped us like get our foot in the door, I would say. And then you asked us for help to raise money for that, um, for like the playground. And so we just met in here, like not really knowing what it was going to be about, like having, I mean, just like our class with like our knowledge from that. And so, um, you know, we just kind of had the idea for a 5K, just kind of like, you know, it might work. We, like, found a date. We thought it would work, and then it didn't work. And then we basically asked Lions Club. We asked all these people. We kept getting all these no's. And I think – I don't really know – why we kept going with it. I just think we really wanted to help with the playground, help, you know, our school, you know, we're a small town, so I think we really, really care about how our town is doing just because we're so small. And so, 
I think that's kind of like the background of like why we kind of cared about this. It was definitely quite an experience. I remember, like I literally remember the day Mr. Conte emailed us and was like, hey, like, do you guys want some real world experience? And we, and we were like, Psh, like, sure, I guess. And lo and behold, about a month Just goes by. Day, like <laughs> yeah, about a month went later. by and he was like, we need $400,000. <laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was definitely a hard pill to swallow in the beginning. Just like getting all this information so quick. And like Emmy said, we all... All of our knowledge really just came from a semester class. No, was it? Yeah, yeah it was, it was just, just a semester, semester class um, at the high Mrs. school. Friends and Mr. Craig. Yeah, shout out! <laughs> such a great class. <laughs> Truly, like such good knowledge. But um, yeah, I think looking at it now, so much has happened since that class. And if you told me at the beginning of the semester that I would have been planning a 5K at the start of my senior year, I'd have been like, Yeah, sure, dude. I'm just here for the credit. But no, yeah, we had to. We experienced a lot of no's. A lot of people said that it wasn't a good idea and that we could go another route. But like Emmy said, I don't know what the draw was to like doing the 5K, but there was something that was honestly cool enough, just like so. part of it was like our name for it. It was 5K to play. Like that's just we too perfect it. to we not use, it. I guess. That's so true. That was that was so definitely we were, a big, yeah, that a was big definitely. Call. Well, my memory back of, of our it, mind. Is, it came off the jam board. We were just throwing <laughs> yeah. things out there. Yeah. And then it was somebody said, let's do a 5K. I don't know who gets the credit for that. Well, definitely Emmy. Me. It was Emmy's <laughs> idea. <laughs> me and, and Alyssa then, were like, daddy, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and then we found the name. I, I think AI might have helped us with that. Uh, oh, Chad, oh, there was some definitely. Yeah. There was some they helped ideas. a lot. <laughs> but, but going back, my memory of it was, so the... Was it the my position actually was the conceit of of that marketing class to begin with, and I came up with three different things. It was like reaching out to families that didn't have students in the district. Oh yeah, yeah. it was like commu- It was communication yeah. events and then podcast. Right. Yeah. So at the end of that. I remember standing there, and it was right before you were going on a trip, as I recall. Oh, Greece! Yeah, <laughs> I'll throw back. And, <laughs> and it, the two of you said. We should have a marketing club. And I was like, yeah, okay, in all my spare time, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and lo and behold, that's kind of what we have now. But um, so that was my thought about, okay, maybe I should get the students involved. And you guys were um, clearly interested in doing it. So I'm like, all right, well, if they yeah. presented, let's do this. Then let me try with these two to begin with. And I knew Alyssa previously from having her on the podcast about this time of year last year, <laughs> interviewing about the nest. So... <laughs> Well, actually, let's go back to the original question here, which was, what do you feel like you kind of learned through this experience? Being involved in, in the school and running a 5K and raising almost $15,000. Um, I'll go a little more broad rather than, like, specific things I learned about, like, a possible degree. Um, a big one is that, like, never take no for an answer. Like, if you firmly believe in something, like, if you put your mind to it, you can, like, truly accomplish anything. And then... I learned this one, I guess, more race day, but just being there and, like, the success of the event that caused a lot of tears and stress and a lot of sleepless nights for a couple months, um, that community, like, really is everything. Like, that day was, I don't know, such a core memory for me. I still honestly think about that day all the time. August 10th, it was such a, like, weather was perfect. The show, like, the turnout was so great. Like, community truly, like... I know, like, I plan on going to school at UC. Like, I'm going to a big city, but, like, at the end of the day, like, I'll always have this hometown to, like, fall back on, which is just really nice to know. Yeah. I feel like I learned a lot just because <laughs> <laughs> just going out to, like, these businesses, asking them for money, you know, like, I was kind of, like, not expecting, like, a yes from lots of these places because you're asking them for, you know, $1,000. Like, that's a lot of money to a high schooler. But then you go out to, like, these places and ask for their money, and they're like, sure. You know, <laughs> they're, like, throwing, it, throwing it left and right. I definitely, you know, I did not expect that at all. So that was, like, really cool to, like, get all those yeses from these places mm-hmm. and just, like, going in person and asking for money and telling them your cause. Like, that really helps your cause. Like, just, like, an email won't always do it, you know? Like, mm-hmm. it, so I think that kind of helped a lot, too, yeah, just going sure. out and about. I didn't know what to expect when we kind of were at that point of, like, okay, now – Y'all got to go out and start knocking <laughs> on doors and see what happens. And I'm really proud of the three of you because I offered my assistance more than a few times and said, if you, if you need me to go with you, I'm happy to go with you. But you My know, boyfriend just, came with me. Yeah, <laughs> I made him come with me. Like, kept Luke. doing it on your own. And, and got, no 
no fear just knocking on doors. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, the worst thing that can happen is they say no. And okay. if you can just keep that, like, the worst thing that's going to happen to you is you're going to hear no. Yeah. Knock on the next door and get a yes. Yeah. yeah. So I thought that was um, really impressive. And then what we should kind of tell other people is we did a whole other little thing that turned into a really big thing in that process, mm, too. The groundbreaking. When we did a, a, <laughs> a groundbreaking ceremony, little kids with big shovels, and it was adorable. And, <laughs> and we ran games. You guys really came up with a lot of ideas for that and helped organize it, and that ended up, um, in, by way of marketing, we contacted Dayton Daily News. They came out. That article, written by London Bishop, was seen by a woman by the name of Diane Toby, and it elicited a $125,000 donation. Um, to the playground, and you guys should feel immensely <laughs> proud about that. Just being, you know, a part of the organization of that. So I congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For that, is there anything else you want to tell me about the experience of just any of it, all of it? No, I like. I think just like being comfortable with who like you're working with, because like I th like a big part of it was just like with Mr. Conti, like to like come in here and just like sit on these chairs and just kind of like yap about whatever we wanted to kind of like this kind of just like made like our ideas kind of just flow out you know like like a lot easier because like if the 5k was someone's like idea and they were like you know like it probably w won't work out but then we say it anyway and it works out you know like you just never know what's going to stick so I think just being in like a relaxed environment with your friends and Mr. Conti, who's super cool, just like <laughs> your friend, your friend too. She, she it's just super like chill. Like, I, and yeah, Mr. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think just kind of like just saying just like all your ideas out because you never know what's gonna work. Like, yeah, I would definitely say just keeping an open mind. Like, thinking like sitting in these chairs. I think we were like in this exact corner when we had the jam board up there, which is yeah. kind of funny to think about. But lots of laughs. Like we we literally had that class and we came in here like we presented in front of you twice like we didn't know who you were yeah. like we came in here pitching ideas for like we had no idea what was going on and it's just so cool to sit here and like look back at how far we've come but definitely keeping an open mind because we could have gone to that meeting like me and emmy could have been walking out of here and been like yeah this guy's kind of weird like we have no idea what's going on let's just <laughs> ghost his emails you. and you know what we didn't and like look at what's happened so i think yeah. that that was just a really cool like, I don't know. It's still so unreal. Like, the event's <laughs> done for people. Like, some people don't even know what happened. But the people that do, I'm just like, man, it's just no, so I crazy. I think it was definitely cool. I went to the cross-country meet this weekend, and I saw a 5K um, to play shirt just, like, in the wild. Aww. Someone was wearing in it. The wild. So that was really cool because I was like, I don't even know her, and she's wearing, you know, the 5K that we made. And that was just really cool to see, Aww, like, for so the first cool. time. It just made me happy. Favorite food? Popcorn. Sushi. <laughs> it's an awful favorite I food. I literally, I think I would die of popcorn one thing. It's my favorite thing. That is weird. <laughs> no, like movie theater. Oh, 100%. <laughs> uh, favorite drink? Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Same, actually. <laughs> DP. Uh, Go-to emoji. Thumbs up. The one where it's like the tongue and they're like, <laughs> their eyes are like crossed. <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't put that in there. They're gonna be really confused. Yeah, put it right over here. <laughs> yeah, do that. You should. Oh Favorite TV show? I mean, it can be currently or movie. Mm. TV show: How I Met Your Mother and movie La La Land. Okay. TV: Parks and Rec. Favorite movie: Probably Lorax. <laughs> Can you make your quote the one where it's like, which way does a the tree, trees. which way does a tree lean, and it's like okay, a sure. tree leans the way it's falling. Okay. Be careful which way you lean. Period. Ava Prater's TikTok that you just saw, like, <laughs> um, no, I watched the Lorax like two days ago. <laughs> I watched him in Star class. Okay, <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, and now we've devolved to how our normal. <laughs> Basically, this is the lore. You guys, if you're still here, <laughs> this is the real lore. Uh, all right. Favorite quote, something that keeps you centered or? Uh, Matthew nineteen twenty six. Um, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, I couldn't think of one, but in soccer, we have, like, um, well, last year, we had, like, this, like, team, like, 
therapist come in and we taught us like these like it's like a it's like called like box breathing so like you breathe in for four and then you hold for four and then out for four and then hold for four and I'll, that's really nice I love that. <laughs> if you could go back to as your seniors now if you could go back to the beginning of high school what would you tell yourself and would you listen Whew. Um, lock in on your grades right? yeah i would definitely <laughs> tell year. myself i would definitely tell myself to start preparing for the act earlier <laughs> that I just retook it <laughs> no, i take it next week um that and go like just participate in stuff like don't skip the football games because you're tired because when you look back you're gonna regret it and would i listen I want to say yes, but I was, like, so rebellious. I don't know. I was always just like, no, I do my own thing. <laughs> so probably not. <laughs> I guess just have fun. I've always, yeah. like, I guess done that. So just keep doing that. <laughs> I can't believe we got to the lightning round before we got our first bro from you. Did I say bro? <laughs> <laughs> I said dude once, but it's out of context. It was out of context. Brother. <laughs> bro. <laughs> okay. Ladies, a pleasure as always. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you for thank having you, us. Thank <laughs> Well, that was fun. Okay, well, here we are at the Ego Droppings. First, on Monday at BCI, there is the Rock Out Party on the Playground Fun Run Registration. If you weren't aware, it's homecoming week, so there are lots of events. Powder Puff is Wednesday night, the 2nd. The Hall of Fame induction is Friday. The homecoming game against Franklin is also on the 4th, Friday night. The homecoming dance is the 5th. The all-class reunion is also being held this weekend, so check the Golden Oldies Facebook page for those details. On the 7th is the Music Boosters meeting. On the 9th is the Middle School High School Fall Choir Concert. On the 10th is the 6th Grade Choir Concert, which is right before the BOE meeting that evening. Then, as a reminder, there's no school on October 14th or 21st. Thank you all for listening. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. I hope you all have a good day. And if it can't be a good one, make it a great one. Shout out Emmy's Chocolate Covered Treats. <laughs> Shout, we'll out Jay. Shout out Jay Craig and Deb France. <laughs> My day ones. Emmy's Chocolate Covered <laughs> Treats on Facebook. You can throw this in at yeah, the throw end. Yeah, throw this in the I told Miss France today, I was like, guess what me and Emmy are doing after school. Like, we're going to the podcast. And she's like, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. <laughs>